Hello again. I hope you're all managing to stay in and stay safe. You know, we're being told to do a lot of different things these days, but it's very important to do as we're told. In fact, the Bible gives us a command to do as our grown-ups tell us, and God will make the path straight for us. And that reminds me a little bit of our story tonight. Tonight's story is all about a little boy who didn't very much like doing as he was told. The story is called Where the Wild Things Are, and it's written and illustrated by Maurice Sendak. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind or another, his mother called him Wild Thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew and grew and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world around him. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through the night and the day and in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars, and they gnashed their terrible teeth, and they rolled their terrible eyes, and they showed their terrible claws, till Max said, Be still! And he tamed them with a magic trick, by staring into their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened, and they called him the most wild thing of all, and they made him the king of all the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. And my goodness, what a rumpus it certainly was. Now stop, Max said, and he sent the wild things off to bed without any supper. And Max the king of all the wild things, was lonely and he wanted to be somewhere where someone loved him best of all. And then, all around, from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. And so he gave up being the king of where the wild things are, but the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go, we'll eat you up, we love you so. And Max cried, No. And so the wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved bye-bye. And he sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day right into the night in his own room where he found his supper was waiting for him and it was still hot. I think Max was very lucky to get back in time to have some hot supper, don't you? We must remember that it's important to do as we're told. We're not all going to be quite as lucky as Max. Heavenly Father, thank you that you give us a command with a promise. If we do as we're told, you'll make sure our path is straight. Help us to do as we're told and stay home and stay safe. And keep us safe and snug in our beds tonight so we can wake up refreshed in the morning. Amen. See you again tomorrow.